previously on Tech Games, etc. I'm actually going to boycott PlayStation 4 for about a year or possibly more. My protest to this generation or this upcoming generation is that I'm not satisfied with this generation at all. I believe the PlayStation 4 is not going to be all that spectacular, graphically, visually. I don't think that that there's going to be a difference. So why should I put up money for something that I know is not going to be all that good? Because I'm just being honest. I, I'm, I'm tired of the mediocrity. I'm tired of this gaming industry getting away with just giving us bullshit. Just pretty much bullshit. Yeah. Um, hey, everyone. My name is Troy from Tech Games, etc., and I fold it. Yes, I'm a hypocrite. I'm such a hypocrite. Look, all right, look. I, I explain what happened ever since that last video and what happened over the weekend and last week, all right? Shout out to my man, Joe Splash 31 Shout out to my friend, Jose, uh, for being a voice of common sense. Now, Joe Splash texted me, like, last week, and he was like, Troy, you cannot miss next gen. You cannot miss it. You got to get a PlayStation 4. You know what I'm saying? Your channel is going to grow next gen. And he was right. My man Jose said the same thing. He said, you cannot afford to miss next gen. Your channel is going to grow. Your channel, you're going to get subscribers. You got to be there day one and things like that. And so I decided to buy a PlayStation 4. I decided to buy, uh, to buy Xbox One. Now, if, if I balance my money out right and I can't afford both, I'm going to get the PlayStation 4 first and the Xbox One later. <sighs> and they were so, they're so right. They're so right about this because... I'm going to be upfront with y'all. I see my channel being successful. And when I had tech games, etc. in my mind, I looked at it a channel where you'll get your news, your reviews, regardless of what console it may be on. I, heck, I may even get a Nintendo Wii just for their exclusives like Smash Brothers and things like that. And when I thought about it, I finished one of the, I don't know if y'all ever heard of this, it's called the YouTube Playbook. If y'all haven't heard of it and you're an up-and-coming YouTuber, I highly recommend you read this 100-page uh, PDF file. And YouTube releases this, this, uh, this playbook where it shows you how to grow your channel. It shows you the features you can have, uh, features that can benefit your channel and things like that. I highly recommend this read, and I'll try to leave a link in the description if I remember. But reading this playbook, I realized that my channel is one of these channels where I can't afford to miss anything that's happening now in the industry. Like dealing with news, dealing with consoles, dealing with gaming. If it's out, I have to get it. I have to report on it. I have to play it. So I realized that. I absolutely realized that. And I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. Because the thing about it, I let my emotions get to me because I know this industry could be a lot better. It could be a lot better. It could be 100% better. And I get my emotions caught up with, I'm playing games where we still don't have this, we still don't have that, you're just giving us BS every year, there's nothing really changing. And I just have to keep my mouth shut and just play games and just post gameplay footage. And that's really it. And that's how I look at it. So I'm going to get the PlayStation 4. I'm going to get the, 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 the Xbox One. Shut the fuck up and just post shit. That's it. That's all I can really do because I cannot let my emotions get to me. Because let me tell y'all, my channel is growing. I am getting views. I am getting subscribers. And based off my data, most of the time my views are coming from uh, YouTube recommending them. I have to work on my titles, everything, but my channel is growing. I'm making more money and things like that, so it's growing. And I'm going to tell y'all flat out, I see myself getting 
a million subscribers. My goal now is to build my subscriber base. I'm up to like a hundred, eight hundred thousand total views. Past that, almost reaching, not almost reaching, but close to it or midway there to reaching nine hundred thousand total views. Now is the time to step it up and build my subscriber base. And that's it. So with the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, some of the games I'm going to get at launch, of course, is going to be Battlefield. It's going to be Call of Duty. Now, here goes some of the things that I've come across. I don't know if PlayStation 4 is going to be have dedicated servers or not. I searched Twitter. I searched uh, Google+. I tried to search Facebook. Everybody's saying Sony hasn't confirmed nothing about dedicated servers. Now, Xbox One will have dedicated servers if my sources are correct. I even contacted um, one of the head directors at Call of Duty, uh, I think it's Infinity Ward or one of those other developers, uh, to see if she's going to get back to me with that question about uh, PlayStation 4 and dedicated servers. But I'm really excited with this next gen. I just cannot let my emotions get the best of me. My channel is going to be something where I'm going to play Call of Duty. I'm going to play Battlefield 4. I'm going to play what's trending. If it's trending, if it's popular, I can be on there. And of course, I said I hated Call of Duty. It didn't play like Warfighter and things like that. That's another hypocrisy. But it's going to get me views. And if I play with people who make it fun, like Joe Spudge, Django Darkblade, TX, whatever, I'm going to be good. I can play it. And I just have to stick to what's trending right now to build my subscriber base. Like I said, I want to be I want to be that that channel that I get catered to. EA says, "Hey, come to our uh, developer offices. Hey, we would like to show you the next premiere of Battlefield. I would like for Activision to send me invites so I can go see the next Call of Duty. I want to be the next big YouTuber. And I cannot let this, my emotions get in the way. The industry is not going to change the way I would ever like it to be. Some things will probably change, but not all things. So I just have to shut up and just take it as is, uh, a, a express my opinions about it, and go from there. So I have to pre-order PlayStation 4 at GameStop but the funny thing about it, Xbox One pre-orders are, are sold out. And I'll find that very interesting. So, next gen is going to shape up really nice. You just got to know that Tech Games, etc. is going to be there at launch. Be there. I'm going to show you everything. Tutorials. And I'm going to be your number one source. So, there y'all go. There y'all have it. Let me know in the comments, y'all. What do y'all think? Um, also... As far as just the content, uh, should I buy, you know, Call of Duty on both consoles? Should I buy Call of, uh, Battlefield 4 on both consoles? Just tell me what y'all think. Y'all are going to be the voice of common sense. I'm no longer, don't ever listen to me when I say I'm not going to do certain things. I'm just going to let y'all decide, hey, what y'all want me to do as far as content. And I just go with what y'all say because I obviously can't get it right. So, let me know in the comments what you think about my decision. Are you getting both consoles? Are you getting one over the other? Just let me know in the comment section below. And uh, see you later. Thanks a lot.